Some might be wondering why we are making mac and cheese when we should be working on a tractor. Well, this ain't your everyday mac and cheese. We're gonna show you guys how to cook a bearing and put it on a shaft here. This is what, uh, we talked about a bearing going on us when we were bailing and we got the baler up and going again, but this bearing went on the customer when he was bailing. So we're gonna put it onto this shaft right here. This is the PTO um, drive shaft here. Stay tuned if you wanna see us cook a bearing and put it on a shaft. This guy here had a bearing go on him when he was bailing too. And look at how it all ended up. It's stripping gears off and everything that way. What you need, it's on. Now this is a pressed bearing. Make sure it's seated. And then we got a snap ring that goes on there. Now this bearing, along with another one here, they have to be seated. It's nicely seated. It will cool down fast enough. So one down, one more to go. Now these are the two bearings that failed on him. Actually, they're a little bit rough, but they never really fail. Um, the one, the snap ring came out and it popped out of the housing. So we're going to, uh, these bearings, I ended up getting them through, through uh, um, a bearing shop in town. John Deere has been kind of difficult, and I hope you're watching this, Derek. Derek's a John Deere mechanic, and uh, Derek, refer to me which parts person at Western Tractor I should be talking to because I've been waiting for a while but I found these bearings at uh, the bearing shop and at least it keeps me rolling now I haven't been able to get any parts and they said because of COVID they're having trouble getting freight but I might not be talking to the right person so let me know we're going to put this other bearing on Now I think I showed Derek how to do this too at one point or, or the other and I wonder if they use a cooker they might have a different method. That one's on too now. Now we want to make sure it's all the way down. We've got enough room to get the snap ring on. Snap ring. Oh it's still warm because it's going to, as it expands, the shaft is cold, it's going to seep to the shaft. Oh. Sure, sure. Butterfingers. Little snap ring, but I think it's operator air. Oh, there. This whole transmission has come up, this whole tractor has been. This is the culprit of this whole tractor coming apart, this little piece. You'd wonder how could one little piece make a whole tractor do that, eh? That's it right there. This whole tractor, this bearing right here, caused all the grief. It's going to cool down now. I'm going to go with Uncle Herman's uh, theory. I'm going to say that it is safe to say that if you have lots of bulls in your calving herd, then it's going to be a wet year. Anyways, we're just putting it into four wheel drive, going down in the ditch to pick up some bales. We had to head to town for 
some parts so we don't get stuck here now. Never been stuck during Hain, but there's a first for everything. Well, we almost got stuck right here. Made a little bit of a mess that I head up the ditch. It's not ideal for hauling bales, but I had to run to town, so I head back out to black and white to grab a couple bales. Man, it's getting soft out. I don't know, we might not be able to cut for a week. It's this muddy.